Hello to you from the loveliness power of the sun. Today I want to talk about the opposite of the sun. I want to talk about the death before the rebirth and that allowing ourselves to die, which sounds so dramatic. But it's actually a concept that comes from shamanism, talks about death ritual and about Buddhistic concept that talks about dying before we dying. And this is more you can understand it more by thinking of the death of the ego, where we are letting parts of our shells, and Kabbalistic knowledge they call it about our shells, let that be removed so there is more light of the soul that can come in. Uh, but sometimes when you go through a death experience, uh, and I don't talk about um, you know moving to another life or actually physically dying, I'm talking that in your psyche there is a part of you that dies which is one of the biggest letting go we can do uh, and it's actually a very powerful and a blessed way to move forward uh, so death and rebirth is deep you know it's the eighth house it's you know scorpio pluto this kind of energies that make us feel um, that we dying or part of us is dying um, but what it does is that brings us to be upgraded on some levels. Um, so I will recommend you to look at that because the whole humanity went through kind of a death and now starts a rebirth after this whole year started last year in 2020. Um, and it's good not to flash the baby with the bath water. So there are some flashing of some old that happens and then allowing the new, the, the beginner brain, uh, the innocence, the, the child within, the essence of the soul to allow itself to be born again uh, inside yourself. And uh, that's a beautiful, beautiful process. Um, so I would like to share with you something uh, where we will go through this feeling of death and you can do it in many ways you can do it in ritual you can do it uh, with dance you can do it with anything creative um, you can act you can sing the transformation of death and rebirth you know lots of the art forms are duplicating this um, subconscious processes that we go through um, there's also a shamanic way of going through a, a death which is kind of more of a in a meditation um, but I noticed also that by writing or reading a process of death and rebirth that you can let this happen and when you let that happen you clean yourself from some of the shells that clustering your growth and what we want is growth expansion and creativity so let me share with you um, um, die before you die poem and see if you can follow your own life with it and go from the beginning to the end it's not long go through it like in the channel and then come out in the other end and I see you there we all need to die from time to time, to fly above our lives and wave goodbye to all that happened before, to see ourselves in our childhood, to see ourselves as adults, to feel gratitude for those who shaped us, but also those who hurt us and forced us to grow. We can fly above our playgrounds, our homes, and our old places of work. We can fast forward to see the person we became. See our choices with no regret. Give ourselves a clean slate. Wipe clean the mistakes of our youth. Forgive ourselves for our failures. Accept all we could not control and bless the wisdom we gathered. We all need to die from time to time.
to say goodbye to all those who count on us and trust that they will cope, to say goodbye to those who take us for granted and know that they will understand, to say goodbye to those who will not miss us and let them go with ease. We all need to die sometimes and see our lives from a new angle. See the wrong, see what was right, see the glorious moments and the mediocre days with no judgment. Feel the pain and let it go. Feel the longing and let it be. We can die sometimes and allow ourselves to smell the shame and the regrets and the fear that accompanied us. And then release them to the wind while we fly higher and higher. Goodbye to crippling expectations. Goodbye to harmful competition. Goodbye to trauma and confusion. Hello to our true essence. Hello to grace and simplicity. Hello to the lightness of being. Goodbye to self-judgment. Goodbye to self-hate. Goodbye to misunderstandings. Hello to living with self-love. Hello to self-acceptance. Hello to pure creation. And when we die well and become again light as air and our hearts are full of wisdom, we ask ourselves with wonder, what will I create? if I come back to my life aired out and free from fear? What do I want to do with the rest of my life? Then, with new humbleness, mixed with fresh curiosity, a new desire is born. And then we find ourselves asking, can I have another round? you enjoyed this process and now ask yourself if everything that happened before until this point in your life is the past and it is another island and you're moved into a new island how would you like to treat your body how would you like to treat your joyful inner child wishes of play how would you like to be in relationship the rebirth of a reinvention, it can be very creative and very expanding. And basically, whatever say can happen. So say it, say it. I am allowing myself to become more of that person. It is like really recreating your identity where you can see yourself as more peaceful person or more creative person or a person is surrounded by love. And this is the beginning of the recreation of the rebirth after you allowed your old self to die it's uh it's it's magnificent what you can recreate and i really hope you will do that for yourself so we can enjoy your greatness and your sparkle and your special special frequency that you bring because that's the only thing we need from you we need you to be connected to yourself we need you to know who you are and to bring it to the table so we can recreate the new earth together so this is for me thank you so much <laughs>